And now, on with the show. In 2005, I was shocked to hear Canadian speakers say that 85% of the population die before opening their birthday gifts. Yes, 85% of all of you are going to die before knowing who you are. Without knowing what you're meant to be. Without knowing your purpose in life. Even for me, life didn't seem like it wasn't in my favor. You see, I'm a short girl. And I used to be very small, with a deep voice. That made me get teased a lot by the girls. Because I didn't look like them. But that was okay. But if any one of you has been teased before, you know what it means. It frees you of any self-confidence and self-belief. However, turning 18 came with a big bang for me. That's when I read a book, Woman of Substance, by Barbara Taylor Bradford. That book reframed my thinking. It enabled me to see the world in a better place. It taught me my first lesson in life, that your background doesn't shape your destiny. You have the power to determine the future you want. Today, no one judges me by the small village where I came from. They judge me by what I've managed to achieve. One of my favorite days was when I met President Barack Obama in Washington, D.C. in 2010. That was a moment for me. When he extended his arm to talk to me, I almost fainted. I couldn't believe that a girl from a village was standing with one of the most powerful presidents on earth. That was indeed a moment. I don't know about you, for me, it was a moment. Over the years, I've managed to achieve what I've done. And I've met world-class leaders. I remember when I met Desmond Tutu of South Africa. Everyone looked at him and whispered, that's Desmond Tutu from South Africa. Guess what I did? I walked to him and said, hi, my name is Rehe Makasule, an entrepreneur from Uganda. Oh, and I love your concept of Ubuntu. I am because you are, because we are. That did it. It brought a bright smile to his face. He knew for sure that someone remembered what he had said. Talking about confidence, over the years, I've demystified the image and role people have about a Muslim woman. Shamelessly, people walked to me and said, oh, you mean you're Muslim? But you're so confident about growing. Tell me, friends, does confidence have color, religion, or race? Does confidence, I need to hear you. Does confidence has color, the religion, or the race? No. Of course not. Confidence is a state of mind. Confidence is what you decide. Confidence is taking charge of your destiny. Confidence is loving the ugly you have. That's confidence. And any one of us can learn it. You can love who you are. As a short girl with a deep voice, I love what I am. Because this is who I am. Yes. And I can never change that. And over the years, it's amazing. If you live with what other people are saying, you never succeed in life. For me, I remember the courage. People always ask me, where do you get the courage to do what you are doing? All I can say is my mother was a great role model. She was a courageous woman. <laughs> when my father died, I was only eight years. My mother defied the cultural systems. She refused to remarry and give us up. She became an entrepreneur. She transformed herself from being a housewife to an entrepreneur to look after us, to educate us. That's courage. That's where I get it. It's so deep in my DNA that over the years, I've refused to conform to what other people think, say, or do. I remember when I finished university with a first class degree in fine art. Of course, they invited me as a lecturer in Macquarie University. Me? Become a teacher? No way. Little did I know that almost after 17 years, I'll become a teacher. <laughs> yes, I'm a teacher. I teach women to believe in themselves. I teach young girls to have confidence. 
I teach entrepreneurs to run their businesses. I teach companies to brand their products. I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. And I have a passion for teaching. I love a passion for leadership. And I love people. And over the years, that's what I do. I mentor girls, I mentor women. I mentor them to become who they want to become. And I must say, I have the best job in the world. You see, my work is like planting a tree. I'm planting trees whose shades I'll never sit in. Trees whose fruits I'll never eat. But that's okay, because I'm not doing this for the short term. I'm doing this for the long term. And guess what? I want to be remembered. Not when I die. But I want to be remembered as the teacher. The teacher that brought so much light in people's lives. The teacher who told people to dare and be different. I was different. I dared. I took risks. At 26 years, I became my own boss. Yes. Yes. And I've never looked back. I decided no one is all ever going to employ me. I'm going to be my own boss. That's daring. That's daring to be different. In 2007, I started an organization, Seda International, with a vision of mentoring young girls and women. Today, I'm proud to say that we've impacted over 12,000 girls and women in Uganda and around East Africa. What our programs do is to inspire and groom a new generation of women leaders. And the stories we hear from the women, it shows that you can do so little to change someone's life. Someone to tell you you're beautiful, even if you're not. Someone to say you look good today changes your life. Someone to say, yes, you've fallen, but you can do it, can change someone's life. That's what we do. We don't give them money. We just talk to them. And before I end, I want to share what I do for daily inspiration. This is what I do every morning to affirm myself. You know, there's a lot of negativity around us. There are so many dream takers around us. So what I do every morning when I get up, I look in the mirror and ask myself, who am I? I'm a star. Who am I? I'm a champion. Who am I? I'm a great leader. Who am I? I'm a role model. Who am I? I'm a teacher. Did I say teacher again? Yes. <laughs> Never mind. Who am I? I'm a beautiful, smart, African woman entrepreneur. That's what I am. That's me, Rehe Makasule. I'm a lady of honor. I was born different, but to make a difference. One thing I know for sure is that I will not change the world, but I will definitely Definitely, definitely, definitely make a difference. Because you know, one thing I also know for sure is that when I believe, I achieve. And no dream is too big. So, my next journey is to the moon. And I'm inviting all of you to come with me. <laughs> because I know, if I walk alone, I'll go very fast. But when I take others with me, we shall go very far. Thank you, thank you very much.